as we said, we are going to act rationally. So, it is allowed to take an action. Now, what is it allowed to take an action based on? It is allowed to take an action based on what it has seen so far. So, it has seen some observations in the world, you know the, the this is yellow and if I drop an object, the object falls down and many other things. So, I have some understanding of how the world has evolved to where I am. I have some built in knowledge that you know about you know thing gravity or whatever it is and based on that I need to figure out which is the best action to take. It is important to realize that when the intelligent rational agent decides to take an action, it does not know the future, it only knows the past. So, it makes the decision based on its past and based on some expectation of what is going to happen in the future. How many times in our worlds does it happen that we took an action, we took a made a decision and maybe an hour later or a day later or a month later or 10 years later we decided that oh that was not a good action we are not being intelligent when we say that that was not a good action. Because at the time of making the action, we have a power of foresight, we do not have the power of hindsight. We do not know what is going to happen. It is possible we took the right decision, just the probabilities worked out against us. So, that does not mean that we did not take the right action. It we only need to decide what action to take an intelligent decision maker will decide what action to take based on what it has seen so far, not what is exactly going to happen in the future. right? So, therefore, uh, the agent does not need to be omniscient, it needs to know whatever it knows. right? Of course, it can act in order to know more information, but it is supposed to make the best decision based on what it knows so far. Right. And this is very important. So, think about babies. Suppose I have a 3 year old who can do who, who is just taught addition of 1 digit numbers and who can somehow figure out addition of 2 digit numbers. We will call this 3 year old extremely intelligent. Right. On the other hand, if there is a 20 year old who is taking computer science in uh, some school and that person can do 2 year 2 digit addition, we would not call that person intelligent. So, therefore, intelligence is not absolute it is dependent on what knowledge the agent has ahead of time. In this particular case, if I give you the algorithm of addition, then figuring it out is not intelligent, you are just running the algorithm. On the other hand, if you did not have the algorithm for addition and you figured it out for the first time, that would be called intelligent. Same is true for theorem proving, suppose you did not know a theorem, it was a conjecture and you proved it for the first time, yes that is very intelligent behavior. Once you have proved it, you have memorized it, then you are repeating the proof, that is not necessarily very intelligent. So, intelligence is a function of what knowledge we already have. If I already have the answer somewhere stored, then that may not be called intelligence. However, if I have been given relatively limited knowledge and then I am able to figure it out, then it is called intelligence. Right. So, there are all these factors that go into designing an artificial intelligence and an AI agent. So, again just to summarize, an agent is acting in some environment, the agent gets a sequence of observations through its sensors, you and I also do that, our sensors are eyes, ears and a, a machine may also have its sensors, it could be laser range finder for a self driving car for example. So, it senses information from the environment, then it does lot of reasoning. It thinks about what the world is now, what do I know about the world, how do, what do I already know about the world, what is my built in knowledge, what do I make my predictions based on, do I know how the world evolves, if I do not I learn that, if I know how the world evolves I think about what happens if I take this action, how will the world change and based on that I will figure out how happy would I be. This happiness is the optimization function and then I will pick that particular action that maximizes my reward, my optimization function and that leads me to taking the action that I need to then take. And all this process happens within the brain of the AI agent right? and that is the AI system that we are trying to build.